it's always been my intention and goal that for actors to find a safe place that they can work, that they can explore the work, the process of the work, uh, and it's a safe and supportive atmosphere. And I'm really pleased to say that all the teachers here at this studio, no matter what kind of class they're teaching, whether it's acting or movement or speech or vocal production or Shakespeare or anything, I really have a terrific bunch of teachers on board who are all into that same kind of philosophy of really working on process in class, being supportive. I mean, nobody's going to hold your hand, but uh, there is going to be support. I think the age of the screamers and the yellers that I had some of when I was studying as an actor, I think that's long gone and God bless that it's gone because I don't think it's a way to teach. So what we do with any student, uh, we <clears throat> interview, we have them audition, and we try to place them in a class where they're going to be challenged, but they're going to be comfortable, but they're not in a class that's over their head. That can be very damaging and very inhibiting, where the person is, you know, I don't know how you put beginning actors in with advanced actors, because there's nothing an advanced actor is going to learn in rehearsal working with that actor. And it's also unfair to the beginning actor, because they're not ready to do that kind of work. And. Uh, as I said, we're very careful as to what class we suggest. Uh, it's not only based on the audition, but it's really based on the actor's background and previous training and the kind of work they've been exposed to. That gives us a good idea of where they would be comfortable and can work. And th there's a big emphasis in the class that you're not here with a scene to perform or to entertain or to be the teacher's favorite. And uh, it's here about the work and taking the work apart and the process. Uh, we're very active with productions. That's about the result. And I've always wanted that since I started the school in 1969, uh, for an actor to have a place not just to train and work, but then to apply that process with production. Because doing a class and doing a production are really two different things. And, uh, but the class cannot have any of that production pressure. And I think even, you know, carrying over that philosophy of uh, the safe and comfortable atmosphere, I think it's so important for a director to create that atmosphere in a rehearsal with a play. Uh, because especially uh, uptown <laughs> or, you know, when those kind of demands are being made or a big film, uh, it's really important that that actor coming in can work and, and uh, it's much more relaxed atmosphere. I know there's the pressure of that production, but it, there's got to be a real atmosphere that an actor can work in, take chances, take risks, uh, you know, and uh, not just get there and feel that uh, I've got to perform, I've got to perform, I've got to come through, I've got to do result work right away. I think that hurts because so many times I go to a Broadway play and I'm wondering just how many times in rehearsal they've really taken the work apart or has it been just pushed for results from day one in rehearsal. It's very interesting reading the Kazan book, his letters right now, and uh, everything, whether it was a film or a play, he never forced. There was no forcing of something. And go back and look at his movies and see the work that he got out of actors. Because I think you're in there, you're working together, the two of you, the actor, and you as the director. And uh, we try to instill that, you know, in anybody studying here. Uh, and I think along with that comes <clears throat> validation really self-validation. Uh, and I think that's very, very important for an actor. Uh, and uh, the actor sometimes saying to a director, let me try this, or let me do this, or let me see what you think of this. And the actor feels the freedom to bring that in. You know, there's certain plays and playwrights that <laughs> they're over the top. And if you don't find that freedom in rehearsal to go over the top, you're never going to find that play. So it. Uh, uh, that's what we want in the class, and that's what we want to encourage them when we do productions here. That's the same attitude that comes into working on a play.